Good day students. Today we are going to talk about skip counting and ordinal numbers in math subject. Okay, so before we proceed, are you ready to listen? Okay, so let's get started. First, let's talk about skip counting. Nenita counts her pencils by tens. She counts 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, based on this example, skip counting involves adding the same number over and over. Next example, Alfie counts his money by 50s. For example, you have 50 pesos. Okay, so he counts 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 300. So in every 50 pesos that he started, he add another 50. So it became 100. And another 50, it became 150 until he got 300 in his money. Now, here's take a look at the, another example. The number is written on the train. So now take a good look. We have 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 5, and 50. So now, what did you observe on this following number? How many numbers do we add? Okay, we add 5 in every number. Okay, so now since you know the other way of skip counting and you already know how to skip count, now let's try to skip count. First, we have 5. What comes next to this number 5? Okay, it's 10. The next one is 15. What comes to the next 15? Okay, 20. Okay, so you can answer the rest on your notebook. Now, let's talk about the ordinal numbers. Okay, so now you know how to skip count. Next is the ordinal numbers. What is the ordinal number? For example, we have kids lined up here. From first to the seventh kid, right? Okay, it shows the position or location of things or persons that are arranged in a sequence or order from the first to the last. Okay, so in ordinal numbers, normally a th, okay? Th is added to the end of a cardinal number. The cardinal numbers are 1, 2, 3, and so on. So when we make it into ordinal, we add th. For example, yung 4, we add th. Okay, fourth, five, fifth, ten, tenth, eighteen, twentieth, and so on. But there are exceptions like this one. The one we add st na th, it will become two. We add nd, it will become second. Three, we add rd, third, and twenty-one, we, we add tw st, twenty-first. 22, and the 22nd, and 23 will become RD or 23rd. Okay, here are the other example of ordinal numbers with their corresponding word. Okay, when these ordinal numbers are written in word, okay, you can see it on the right side of the table. First, second, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. 8th, 9th, and 10th. Okay, in other terms, the ordinal numbers can be spelled out. And next, we have also 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. Now for your activity, answer the following. Explore, decode the message using the letters of the English alphabet. It's page 26. 
Next, the apply A and B on page 26 to 27. Then, the reinforce page 7. That's 1 to 10 items. Answer it in your book or on your notebook. Okay, so that's all for our discussion in math. Thank you for listening and God bless.